Hi, my name is Steven Amick for GolfSwing.com, and I'm out here in Plano, Texas, a beautiful Glen Eagles Country Club, and I wanted to share a myth buster for you. One thing that I hear over and over in golf is that you should keep the club low and slow for the first two feet of your golf swing. Well, to me, that doesn't make a lot of sense, and I'm going to tell you why. It's because I like to think of the swing more as a hula hoop or a circle. And we all know a hula hoop doesn't have any flat spots in it. So a better thought than trying to keep the club low and slow for the first 18 inches, which pulls you out of position, puts a flat spot in the swing, and moves the low point of your swing behind the ball, none of which is going to help you hit the ball better. A better thought than that is to allow the club to move up and in as it goes back. So from the first blade of grass, the golf club is going to immediately start moving away from the ground. Now obviously this is going to be done gradually, but it should move away from the ground as you go up to the top. I don't want you to pick the club straight up like that, but I sure don't want you to drag it back low and slow for the first two feet of your swing. Allow that club to progress away from the ground, and by doing so you can see that the club's going to have a nice rounded shape to the path. If you take it back low and slow, a lot of times it creates a real upright motion late in the swing, which causes a lot of problems with your ball striking. So what I want you to do is set up comfortable at a dress, practice feeling the club come away from the ground gradually, yet immediately, so that there's no low spot behind the golf ball. Let the club work away, and then all you do from there is give it a hit. It's going to keep your swing more rounded, it's going to make you more consistent, and you'll be able to compress your irons a lot better.